Welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. I am your host, GQ. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Teddy, you're cute. Like the video, leave some comments on this video and the other videos I've done. Share the video as well. Also check out culturejunkies.net. Also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We also have a Twitch and Discord, so we're everywhere. So, back to Hot Toys again this time around. Now, you guys are usually used to seeing these in a brown shipper box because I order them directly from Sideshow. This time around, I actually picked this one up locally. Yes, believe it or not, during this crazy uh, pandemic, uh, some of the stores thankfully have opened back up for appointments only. And my friends over at Warp 9 Comics over in uh, Royal Oak, Michigan, awesome, awesome comic book store. Actually, I think they're closer. Well, they're right on the border between Royal Oak and Clawson. For those that are in California, this means nothing to you. But, Guys gave me a great deal on this, and this is the Harley Quinn Suicide Squad dancer dress version. Yes, I know that's a lot. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. See, no window box this time. But real quick, just to show you the box, obviously a little bit of her in a very cool graphic design, graphic art style. Nothing really there. Some information on the back, nothing on that side, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. See, you guys didn't miss anything. Inner box, got the little uh, hideaway flap thing. I am not even going to mess with that because that actually has a little opening mechanism in it. But they've got the cast right down the uh, line there as far as who made the figure, so that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna go ahead and open this because we're here for Harley, we're not here for the box. All right, is there anything weird going on? Uh, I must have a, oh, that's different. <laughs> okay, I think I know what that's supposed to be. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sit this on down here. She's definitely a different one. So uh, for the those of you out there who of course saw Suicide Squad, this is um, Harley from that sequence, or actually kind of like a flashback about her uh, that Amanda Waller was explaining to the general about how the Harley is uh, Joker's queen and God help anybody who disrespects the queen. And of course we get that sequence where um, she's dancing in the club and Joker murders the guy that was there to do business with him because he rejects Harley. So this is her in that outfit because as you know, Hot Toys and Sideshow do not waste any time with uh, putting out versions of characters from the films in as many different ways as they can. So, she's got real hair. Well, again, real synthetic hair. Um, okay, the dress is actually really detailed. It's actually very cool. Very good likeness of Margot Robbie. Um, again, I'm gonna have to get one of my hairstylist friends to do something with this hair, because <laughs> It's uh, kind of messed up. Well, not messed up, it's just it's untamed at the moment. Okay. She's not a seamless jointed figure, so you do see her joints, the ball joints and all that sort of thing. Uh, which, I mean, I guess it is what it is. So this kind of, um, in a sense, makes her a very expensive Barbie doll. Sort of, kind of. Yeah, I do not like the knee joints or the fact that you can see the joints so much on her knees. But it is what it is, I get it. Um, stiff joints, she's got, is that paper supposed to be there? Nope, it's not. The paper is just protecting the paint job. So let's see if we can get that paper <coughs> out of there. This is gonna be interesting. I do like that they have the little, uh, gold chains for her dress are actually little chains 
So that's very cool. I have to cut this plastic away. Very, very carefully. I do not want to cut myself or this new Harley Quinn six scale that's going to possibly find a home next to classic Joker up there. Don't know yet. I'll have to figure it out. Okay. Got that cut away. And let's see if we can get this all to come away. Yeah, they've got her tattooed all over, which is movie accurate. So, I mean, I, you know, can't can't knock that. <clears throat> okay, there. Now, I guess with some work, and get her dress to kind of lay a little bit more flat. But yeah, the little chain designs on the back there. Of course, you guys know you'll get close-ups of everything. Very cool. Now, accessories-wise... She's got a ton of stuff here. I mean, she's got an entire chain, which I have to look back at the movie to see why she has this big, enormous chain. I don't remember if Joker had her, or she was even wearing, maybe she was wearing that in that scene. I honestly, it's been a while since I've seen Suicide Squad. She's got her, can't really see it. I have to get photos of it. I'm assuming that's probably her pudding. No, pudding was a um, choker. So she's got a lot of <laughs> accessories and jewelry and a watch and holy crap, they gave her a lot of stuff. This is what I was laughing about earlier. I think this is part of her background setup, but they gave her a stripper pole. <laughs> so I don't know, depending on how that diorama actually looks. I might set her up with the full stripper pole, just because that would be absolutely hilarious. Um, let's see here. Let's see what we've got. Okay, okay. <laughs> Property of Joker. Yep, so let's find her stand. Oh wow, they gave her, even gave her a gold colored figure stand. That's actually pretty cool. And yes, it is a stripper pole that is meant to be. So yeah, depending on how tall that is, I mean, that, that tall should be able to handle it. She might end up in there with her full stripper pole. Might be the first Sideshow Hot Toys display figure I have that has a stripper pole. They've got the Suicide Squad logo there. Of course, her name and a little symbol from the movie Suicide Squad. And yeah, that in and of itself is hilarious to me. Let's see if there's one right side or another. Maybe this way. Yep. That is hilarious. I'm just gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. Yeah, don't need to use the little backdrop, but gotta put one of her hands on that's correct for the pole, of course, because her regular hand isn't made for holding the pole. But either way it goes, you guys get the idea. That's all sorts of funny that they gave Harley Quinn a stripper pole for her display. That is just funny. So, for what's in the box on this, Harley's crazy anyway, so is the Joker, so crazy episode of What's in the Box, I am GQ. This is the Sideshow Collectible slash Hot Toys Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn Dancer Dress Edition version, whatever you wanna call it. I'm GQ, and I wanna see you guys next time.
you're enjoying our content, please consider going to our Patreon and becoming a supporter. There are different tiers to select from, and we thank you for your support. Culture Junkies!